Okay, hello there. So today we're going to look at the topic of correlation. This is a very important topic in, uh, in data um, exploration, understanding. It's really about understanding what data might influence other data. Uh, we don't necessarily know why that is, but we can see uh, influences. So um, once again, we're looking at this fictional data from a, a company uh, which deals with products. <clears throat> they want to know about things that don't sell well or aren't very profitable and so on. Um, and last week, we did some of that. We looked at the time series uh, and looked at the trend line. So which were they going up and down or whether they've got the variations, seasonal variations, which we'll look at. So we'll, we'll look more at that next week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today, we're going to take a look, closer look at how some of those trends might be related to each other uh, using two further standard visualizations. So the first is a scatter plot, uh, so just a series of dots. Uh, and when you start to distinguish a pattern, like you can see in the picture I've put up there, then that may mean there's a correlation. The other uh, good way of uh, assessing correlations is with things called heat maps, where you're trying to measure um, correlations more exactly. So uh, the, the first one is a sort of gives a visual indication of um, some, uh, some correlations, whereas the second one actually we can do it numerically and we, we then uh, visualize those numbers. So slightly different techniques. Well, anyway, we'll meet them both on the longer way. Um, the code for this, uh, this set of examples, actually, towards the end of the, the lecture, we'll, we'll start to look at different data, some extra data for this company. So that will be slightly different. But almost all the code, I think all the code actually, uses pretty much these, these five lines at the top. So we import um, matplotlib and pandas, uh, our two standard packages. Uh, we read in the data, the daily sales data, and tell um, tell pandas that the index is in the first column, uh, which is, if you remember, the index is just the dates, uh, so dates from the 1st of January to the 31st of December. And then we convert that, that set of dates into date time so that uh, pandas understands them as dates and not, not just strings of uh, characters. Uh, as before, we'll use the following lines to prepare and show the plot. Uh, just to remind you, you don't necessarily need plot.show in um, in Jupyter or, or Colab. Uh, that's usually, will, it, it, that will do, Jupyter will do that for you. But uh, it's a good idea to put it in. It's not going to be a problem. And finally, the one extra thing we're going to read today is another library called Seaborn, uh, which we'll use to do the heat maps. You can do heat maps in in matplotlib is just a bit harder. So Seaborn, um, it's a sort of library. It sits on top of um, pandas and matplotlib. Um, so it knows about them. And uh, it understands their data structures and the, some of the functions. And it's it's used to do sort of higher level visualizations. So it's quite a, a useful library. We'll meet that a couple of times in the course. OK, uh, I'm going to finish this video here. And then we'll, we'll actually define what correlation is and talk about it. 